Welcome back to Trisha's Travels and Adventures. Today I'm getting ready for my next cruise and I was going through my first aid kit and I thought I'd share with you what I pack and I honestly got rid of a lot of old stuff. So always make sure you're checking the dates on medications, ointments, etc. before you pack them so you make sure they're going to be good for you while you're away. You might use something as simple as a quart size bag. I have this old jewelry pouch a case that came with some luggage or the smallest ever cube, uh, packing cube. So just some options. Let's move these out of the way and I'll, we'll talk about some of the things I'll take with me. Some of them, little ready-made first aid kit, pop it open. It's got a pair of, they fancily name these forceps, but tweezers, there's some ointments, some alcohol pads. This is great. And it might be just what you need, and that's fine. I like to pack some of my own Band-Aids. If you take a spill and you need a big one, that's not going to be in this little kit. Or you might just pack a ready-made package of assorted Band-Aids. Whatever you think is going to suit you. Now to go with that, I pack some antibiotic ointment. I pack some cortisone ointment. Both have different purposes. And now let's look at some of the medications I take with me. Now, you get some medications, and these are both the same item, but it doesn't say what it is. So if it doesn't already say what it is, I get out of my Sharpie and I write, whoop, there it is, right side up, that this is actually allergy medicine. But the problem is, if this one didn't have the name, the description of what it's for, the names sound very similar. So if it, this one happens to say what it's for, so I'm fine. But the names of the two items are very similar. So easily confused, especially when you're not feeling well. And so I have some for both directions, anti-diarrhea and laxative. I, I bring along some daytime and nighttime cold medicine if I'm feeling under the weather. And these are labeled as to which they are, so I'm not gonna get confused. Then I bring along a small container of ibuprofen, if or whichever uh, pain relief medication, headache medication works best for you. Then this one I do not have labeled, but I know that this Little blue box are my sleeping pills. So if I am having a rough night getting to sleep, uh, I have some sleeping pills to get me by. I have some Tums. Do not wait till you're on the cruise because these are gonna be a lot more expensive to try and buy them in the gift shop on the cruise. And the next thing I have are something for those of you who get seasick I don't very often but when I do this does the trick these are called C bands let me show you how I put them these on. bands have a small knob on them that goes on the inside of your wrist and you're gonna flip the band over Now this next one we hope we don't need it all but I bring a mask this is one that I really like it comes in a bunch of different colors and patterns and it has inserts a K N95 insert that goes inside a sleeve on the inside. So I can change those up, have fresh ones, and I'll take those along with me if necessary. Hopefully we won't need those at all. And one other very oddball thing I bring along, packets of yellow mustard. Now, I find that these work really well for muscle cramps. If you're prone to muscle cramps, it's very similar to athletes who drink pickle juice. I guess it's the um, vinegar in it that reacts with your body and it'll cure a muscle cramp. At least it does for me. Now let's pack these up and I'm sure they're gonna fit in any one of these small cases. Well, in my smallest pouch, I got everything to fit except for my masks and the extra braces that I decided to take along. Now stick around, I'm gonna show you some crazy items I bring with me on my cruise that you might not have thought of. Now for the extra things I pack. Some are pretty normal, maybe for some, but you might not think about it. Pack some shout wipes, 
because there's going to be a lot of eating going on and you're bound to spill something on yourself and you don't want it to stain your nice clothes. Next thing is a sewing kit. You don't want to pop a button and not be able to wear an outfit. So bring along a sewing kit or even just a small spool of thread and a needle so you can fix, make a quick fix. Now this next one, yes, it's the lid off of a jar of Jif. What do I use this for? I will put it on the bathroom counter if I take off my jewelry when I shower, or it's also great for setting jewelry in your safe so it doesn't get lost. So this is great, it shows up. It's very easy for sometimes a piece of jewelry to disappear in the pattern on the countertop and you don't wanna miss that. Next thing, a Sharpie. As much as I love the uh, medallion app and I use it a lot on Princess and other online um, information, I find that I like to, for a princess on the princess patter or whatever cruise line you're on the written program it's great to have a sharpie to highlight what you hope to do that day and for those of you who wear eyeglasses bring along a little eyeglass kit even if just for your sunglasses if you lose a screw you don't want to be without those glasses and if you're like me and you don't wash your hair every day you probably have picked up somewhere at a hotel a shower cap. So bring along a shower cap because this is one amenity they no longer provide in our cabins that I've seen. I haven't seen one for a very long time. So I bring along a shower, small shower cap. And, and the, the last, last thing I bring along are magnets. Now I like the clip, these really heavy duty clip magnets for my uh, tour tickets for any paperwork that I need to keep that I don't want to just put away. And then also a hook if you're using the lanyard for your medallion or your cruise card. Hang these up. These are put it right on the back of your door so you see it before you leave and don't walk out without it. Great for papers, great for your lanyards, hang a hat. Um, your walls in your cabin are magnetic. Another strange thing I bring are zip ties. Now you might think, what in the world? I use these to close my luggage. I feel that with these, I know if somebody's been in my luggage with a TSA approved lock, they can open it and close it again and I'll never be the wiser. But with the zip ties, I'll know if my luggage has been entered. I keep a small pair of scissors in the outside pocket of my bag, or even a pair of nail clippers will snip these just fine. So all of these extra oddball things I bring along on my cruise. Hey, hang on, sorry to interrupt. I forgot one item that I meant to show you. It's earplugs. You never know when you're going to have a noisy uh, room that you're trying to sleep in. These will come in handy. Also, I love to go out dancing, but sometimes the music is just a little too loud for my taste. So I can still enjoy the music, but the earplugs will protect my ears. Okay, back to what I was saying. On my cruise or when I travel, what do you think of my list? What do you bring? Please leave a comment below. Please like, comment, and subscribe as this helps grow our channel. Have a great day and keep traveling.